I take a lot of images from what I was exposed to as a, as a child growing up in a, a, a rural part of South Texas. HCC instructor Rolando Rina drew from even the most frightening childhood experience for his art represented in October's exhibition at the HCC West Loop Art Gallery. The title In the Blood um, was something that I thought would give some context to mixing up a lot of different things that I've done in the past. Some of the forms that you see in the show uh, that are abstract or some of the images um, that are more economical are always uh, from some of the things that I uh, saw when I was young. The texture is very interesting to me. It's just like the mossy stones at the bottom of uh, the ocean close to the shore. Students got the chance to learn from this Hispanic artist showcasing his personal collection as part of Hispanic Heritage Month. The ink drawings are based on uh, some ideas I had um, sketching on uh, napkins. Um, I had been doing hundreds of drawings on small napkins. As I started collecting them, I noticed that there were a lot of um, ideas that I was investigating in my paintings. Raina credits his father, a construction worker, for teaching him to use some unusual tools in his work. He used uh, trowels and hammers and all sorts of uh, equipment. And I use some of the same things in making paintings where I'm using uh, trowels to scrape paint off and to apply it. Um, so that's a very obvious um, relationship. No matter the culture, art transcends barriers and opens the line of communication for students to learn. For the right click, I am Blondell Walters.